Introduction It is Rhea's birthday today. She has decided to give three chocolate bars to each of her classmates. So far she has covered five friends. Therefore she has given away three plus three plus three plus three plus three which is equal to fifteen chocolate bars. After a while she finishes distributing the chocolate bars to the entire class of thirty-five students. How many bars did Rhea distribute in all? Do we add 3 to 35 times to get the answer? Or is there another way? In this lesson, we will study multiplication in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to list the properties of multiplication, multiply numbers by 10, 100 and 1000, Multiply two-digit numbers. State the multiplication facts. Multiply large numbers using the lattice multiplication algorithm. Multiplication We just calculated the number of chocolate bars given by Rhea to her five friends as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 as 15. If you notice, the number 3 appears five times. Therefore, we can also write it as 5 into 3 is equal to 15. Let us take another example. 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is equal to 18. We can also write it as 3 into 6, which equals 18, because 6 appears 3 times. Multiplication Properties 1 Let us now look at some properties of multiplication. 1 into 1 is equal to 1. 4 into 1 is equal to 4. 7 into 1 is equal to 7. It means if we multiply any number by 1, the result is the number itself. Let's have a look on another property. 1 into 0 is equal to 0. 4 into 0 is equal to 0. It means if we multiply any number by 0, the result is zero. Multiplication properties two. Here is another property of multiplication. Take two numbers, six and five, and multiply them. We can multiply these numbers in two ways. We either multiply six by five or multiply five by six. 6 into 5 is equal to 30. 5 into 6 is equal to 30. Now take two more numbers, 7 and 3. We multiply them again in two ways. We multiply 7 by 3 first and then 3 by 7. 7 into 3 is equal to 21. 3 into 7 is equal to 21. We have seen that the result of multiplication of two numbers remains the same, whatever be the order of the numbers. Multiplication by 10, 100 and 1000 Let us now learn how to multiply numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. When we multiply a number by 10, we add the zero in the 10 to the right of the number to get the result. Let us multiply 7 by 10. Add 1 zero to the right of 7 to get the result as 70. By the same logic, 36 multiplied by 10 is 360. 47 multiplied by 10 is 470. When we multiply a number by 100, we add the two zeros in the 100 to the right of the number to get the result. Let us multiply 12 by 100. Add two zeros to the right of 12 to get the result as 1200. By the same logic, 43 multiplied by 100 is 4300. When we multiply a number by 1000, we add the three zeros in the 1000 to the right of the number to get the result. Let us multiply 8 by 1000. Add three zeros to the right of 8 to get the result as 8,000. By the same logic, 4 multiplied by 1,000 is 4,000.
Multiplication of two digit numbers. Let us now learn to multiply two digit numbers. Let us multiply 63 by 4. Firstly, multiply 3 by 4. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. Place 2 under the line at the 1's place. Write 1 above 6 at the 10's place. Then multiply 6 by 4 and add 1 above 6. 4 into 6 plus 1 is equal to 25. Place 25 below the line. Answer is 252. Now let us multiply 32 by 12. 1. Multiply 2 by 2 to get 4. Write 4 below the line at the 1's place. 2. Then multiply 3 by 2. Answer is 6. Place 6 below the line at the 10's place. 3. Mark a cross below 4. 4. Multiply 2 by 1. Place the 2 below 6. Multiply 3 by 1. Place the 3 to the left of 2. Now add these two numbers. The answer is 384. Multiplication Algorithm It is now time to learn to multiply large numbers in a simple way using the lattice multiplication algorithm. The algorithm uses a grid made up of rows and columns. The number of rows and columns depend upon the number of digits in the numbers to be multiplied. If a two-digit number is multiplied by another two-digit number, there will be two columns and two rows. In other words, the grid will have four cells. Every cell in the grid is diagonally divided into two. The upper triangle is for tens place and the lower triangle is for ones place. Let us now use this grid to multiply two-digit numbers. Multiplication Algorithm Let us multiply 56 by 14 using the lattice multiplication algorithm. Write 56 across the top and 14 at the side vertically. First multiply 1 and 5. Write 5 in the 1's place and 0 in the 10's place. Then multiply 4 and 5 to get 20. Write the 0 of 20 in the 1's place and the 2 in the 10's place. Then multiply 1 and 6. Write 6 in the 1's place and 0 in the 10's place. Finally multiply 4 and 6. The result is 24. Write 2 in the 10's place and 4 in the 1's place. Now add the numbers in each diagonal column starting from the bottom. 4 is equal to 4. 6 plus 2 plus 0 is equal to 8. 0 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 0 is equal to 0. Read the result from left to right as 0784, that is 784. Therefore, we can say that 14 into 56 is equal to 784. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. Any number multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000 is the number followed by as many zeros as are there in 10, 100 or 1000. Two numbers multiplied in any order give the same result. Large numbers are multiplied using lattice multiplication algorithm.